Hey, are you trying to lose weight? Then watch the following video. It helped me, so why wouldn't it help you? How to start losing weight The hardest step in losing weight is getting started. The most effective way to start is to get committed to small lifestyle changes that increase your exercise and reduce your calories. Strengthen your resolve and make small adjustments that have big long-term payoffs. Part 1. Planning a safe weight loss goal Number 1. Make an appointment with your doctor. This is essential, especially if you're sedentary haven't had a physical for a long time or you suffer from a chronic condition. There may be certain recommendations for nutrition or low-impact exercise that you need to take into account. Number 2. Set Goals Start by expecting to lose no more than one pound a week per average. Use a weight loss calculator to help calculate a realistic timeline for weight loss. Try sites like FitWatch who provide a target date calculator. If you are obese, Try contacting a weight loss center to try setting long-term weight loss goals that are reasonable and healthy. Number 3. Consider what your challenges will be. Any weight loss plan should be a combination of diet, exercise and lifestyle changes. For example, don't start a diet plan that is too drastic if you already know you are unlikely to stick to it. Number 4. Team up. Get a friend who also wants to lose weight to help motivate you. Consider joining a weight loss group, like Weight Watchers or joining a fitness class that meets regularly to reap the benefits of teamwork. Number 5. Invest in a tool that will help you reach your goal. Try an activity tracker, a gym membership or a subscription-based meal plan. When you have a financial stake in it, you'll be more motivated to continue the program. Number 6. Remove temptation. This could mean removing the unhealthy snacks in your pantry, reducing the number of days you go out for cocktails or refusing to schedule meetings during regular exercise times. When you're tired or stressed, you are much less likely to stick to your plan, so make it easier on yourself. Number 7. Have a healthy shopping trip at the same time each week. Try to avoid the aisles and stick to the perimeter, where the healthier options are located. Part 2. Starting an exercise program. Number 1. Buy a low-cost pedometer or a sophisticated activity tracker to track your steps. Get started by increasing your activity levels. For most adults, you should aim to reach 10,000 steps per day at a minimum. Number 2. Yam for one hour of exercise per day. While this may seem like a lot, think of it as an extremely small portion of your 24-hour day. This is the recommended amount of low to moderate exercise recommended by experts to lose weight and keep it off. Number 3. Split up your exercise into two or three sessions throughout the day. Start with a walk after each meal. Number 4. Incorporate a moderate intensity workout three to four times per week. Take a class or schedule a gym session before you get too busy. If you like to work out at home, purchase a used treadmill and walk run as you watch TV. If you are 60 or older, stick with low intensity workouts, but try to increase your pace slowly. Maintain at least 10 minutes of exercise at a pace where you find it hard to keep up a conversation during your workout. Bar 3. Starting a healthy eating plan. Number 1. Start by cutting portion size. It is an easy first commitment because it doesn't require you to change your routine. Simply reduce your portion size by 25%. There's a chance you'll curb overeating, but still feel full on 75% of your normal daily calories. Serve your smaller portion on a smaller plate. You'll feel fuller and more satisfied. Number 2. Keep a food journal. For the first month, Write down everything that you eat. Recording your diet will make you mindful of what you eat and also make you feel accountable if you sneak in unhealthy options. Number 3. Eat more whole foods. If you eat whole grains, fruits and vegetables, you can eat more while gaining less. Processed foods should be reduced to portion sizes of 100 to 200 calories, which is a surprisingly small amount of food that won't keep you full. Number 4. Start by removing or reducing liquid calories. Milky coffee drinks. Soft drinks and alcohol give you the most calories for the fewest nutrients. Replace those drinks with water and you will make a significant dent in your calorie consumption. Number 5. Try to cut calories in your diet significantly every other day. Never skip meals, but reduce the amount you eat by 25 to 50 percent. You can begin to see weight loss benefits in just two weeks. The same is true of low-carb diets. Using an alternate day plan may also be easier to keep up in the long term. Number 6. Subscribe to a healthy recipe magazine or try a new cookbook. Once you find one you like, you can start incorporating more healthy substitutions into your diet.